Fashion Night of Miss Asia Pacific International 2024. As we continue this exciting evening, we now arrive at the most crucial round of the competition, the first round of question and answer portion. That's right. This is where our top 10 candidates will have the opportunity to share their thoughts and perspectives, showing not just their beauty, but also the depth of their intellect and heart. Now, when we call you, please come forward, pick a question, and you will be given 30 minutes to answer. 30 now, seconds. Oh, 30, 30, thank you. 30 seconds to answer. Now, if an interpreter is required, the clock will stop in the translation, and your time is up once you hear this sound. That's right. Okay, ladies, this is your moment to shine. Ah, let's begin. We will start with Germany. Hi, Miss Germany. Hello, Paul. <laughs> this is your question. At this point in your life, is your individuality a hindrance or an asset? Why or why not? I believe my individuality and the individuality of every person in this room is something that we should not only tolerate, but celebrate. I came here in order to bring a message to the people. When I decided to join Miss Asia Pacific International, I also decided to fulfill a moral responsibility to give back wisely and intelligently. Thank you. Thank you, Miss Germany. Thank you very much, Miss Germany. Next up, Sweden. Hi, Miss Sweden. Hello, Bo. Your question. In today's world, what do you believe is more needed, greater compassion or more intelligence, and why? I believe that the world needs more greater, greater compassion because we need to... I'm sorry. We need to do it together. We need to celebrate everyone and just need to open our eyes so everyone can be seen and compassion for those who are good and bad because everyone is worthy thank you thank you thank you next up new zealand question. Now, studies show that around 40% of people feel worse about themselves after using social media. How would you use your platform to help address this issue? Thank you for that question. I believe that social media can be a highly valuable tool. However, sometimes we tend to overconsume knowledge that isn't necessarily helpful towards us. We tend to compare. And so I've been combating this and have been and continue will and will continue to do so by spreading positive messages to children, to all those on social media about embracing their individuality and accepting and being grateful for what they have. Thank you. Thank you very much.
All right, two more to go in uh, this batch of five. Next up is USA. Okay, USA. Hi. Your question is, if you could have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation with any person, living or deceased, who would it be and what would you discuss? Thank you. If I can have a heart-to-heart -heart discussion with anyone, it would be my father who passed away when I was nine years old. And I would tell him how him passing away has changed my life. But every day I wake up and I choose to be who I am because of him. And I hope that I'm making him proud. Yeah. Thank you, Mr. Messer. Thank you. All right. And now we'd like to call Belgium. Hi. <laughs> Your question is, the world came to a halt during the COVID-19 pandemic. Now, as Miss Asia Pacific International, how would you apply the lessons that you've learned over the last past few years to face the challenges of a post-pandemic world? Thank you. The lessons that I have learned is about sharing the moments with your family, with your loved ones because we were so isolated during this time and we felt all so lonely and I believe that this time we should learn to love each other more, learn to love the people that you don't know, embrace them and stand open to learning new people so that nobody feels alone anymore. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. All right. Thank you very much, uh, Belgium. And of course, uh, thank you, ladies. Uh, you may now relax backstage for a little while whilst we make way for the next batch of candidates in the Q&A segment. Mix Chanel, what's happening over in your area at the moment? So that was five down and five more to go in our first Q&A portion. Just as a quick recap, Germany wants us to celebrate our individualities. Sweden wants compassion versus intelligence because everyone is worthy. New Zealand thinks that social media is a valuable tool but can lead to overconsumption. While USA wants to have a heart-to-heart -heart with her father, hoping that she is making him proud. And Belgium wants us, after the COVID pandemic, to share moments with our family and to love each other more. We are off to an amazing start of the first round of the Q&A portion. Tell us what you think about the responses of our ladies. Share your thoughts via our social media. And of course, please use the hashtags, hashtag Miss Asia Pacific International 2024 and hashtag Celebrate Every Hue. Who will impress us with their answers next? Let's find out. Back to you, Joey and Mark. Thank you, Mick Chanel. Now we have here with us the continuation of our question and answer portion. That's right. Again, now as a reminder, here is how the Q&A will go. Once we call you, please come forward and pick a question. You'll be given 30 seconds to answer. And if an interpreter is required, the clock stops during the translation. Your time is up once you hear this sound. All right. First to come forward, we have Philippines. Good evening, Philippines. Good evening. <laughs> All right, here's your question. If you could speak to your past self during the darkest time of your life, mm -hmm. what would you say to her? I would say that every single part of your life is part of your journey. And even though 
that it is not as easy, it is dark, it is hardships. This is what builds you. It's the uncomfortable situations in your life. And if you are going through this right now, just remember that this is part of your story and each one of us has our own story to be able to inspire others because I inspired myself looking at that past self. And now I'm grateful to be here representing the Philippines in an international stage. Thank you so much. Thank you very much, Philippines. Our next candidate is Vietnam. Thank you so much. Thank you. Hi, Vietnam. Mabu Hai. Mabu Hai, Philippines. Your accent is much better than mine. All right, here's your question. What is one piece of advice you received that you continue to live by? And, uh, thông, điệp gì, thông điệp gì em sẽ gửi tới các bạn trẻ trong uh, thế giới ngày hôm nay? Uh, but, uh, thank you for your question. And um, em muốn gửi tới cho các bạn trẻ đó chính là cái sự kỷ luật và cái sự biết ơn. Kỷ luật để giúp chúng ta để nắm bắt được cái cơ hội và giúp chúng ta được thành công và sự biết ơn đó chính là chúng chúng ta sinh ra và chúng ta biết ơn với tất cả những gì mà mọi người giúp đỡ chúng ta và chúng ta phải luôn biết ơn rằng dù người ta giúp mình một việc nhỏ nho thôi thì mình đã phải biết ơn người đó mới có ngày hôm nay yes, mới mới có anh Vương đến ngày hôm nay vâng For me, the disciplines and gratefulness is very uh, necessary nowadays for the next generation. And for me, up to this moment, on the stage at this moment, the gratefulness, the gratefulness and the appreciation is really need for me and need for everyone to build a better future, a next generation with the dis disciplines and the gratefulness in the future. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much, Vietnam. The next candidate in this Q&A portion is Mexico. Bienvenidos, Mexico. Muchas gracias. All right. Your question is, how have you handled moments when what you consider your strength is viewed by others as weakness? I believe I've handled those moments by believing in myself. I should not go believing what others think of me, but trusting myself and what I know I am from the inside. So also if you are being questioned, if others think of you differently of what you think of yourself, don't, don't listen to those opinions. You are worthy, you are enough, you know your value. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mexico. All right. Two more lovely ladies to go, and the next one is Canada. Hi, Canada. Hi. All right, here is your question. How can beauty pageants maintain their relevance in today's increasingly woke society? Once again, how can beauty pageants maintain their relevance in today's increasingly woke society? To me, I think beauty pageants are not just about their beauty in the outers, but also about their inner beauty. So all of us have 
beautiful faces, beautiful dresses, everything, but the beauty in ourselves is the most important, and that's how it is relevant to the woke society that we are in nowadays. Thank you so much. Thank you. All right, and now our final candidate for the Q&A portion, this portion, is Thailand. Here is your question. If you were to win tonight, how would you strive to be the best representative of your home country or territory?ค่ะถ้าเฟิร์นชนะในค่ะถ้าเฟิร์นชนะในค่ะถ้าเฟิร์นชนะในค่ะถ้าเฟิร์นชนะในค่ะถ้าเฟิร์นชนะในค่ะถ
your journey to the crown remains alive. Everyone, let's please give our top five finalists a huge round of applause. And a huge hand also to the rest of our lovely ladies in the top 10. You've achieved an amazing feat. You should be very proud of yourselves. Bravo! Mick Chanel, what is next for our top five finalists? From our terrific 10, we are now down to our ferocious five. The entire backstage is shaking with excitement for our next segment, where our top five finalists will now have to fight through the final round of question and answer. A round that will officially determine who ate, who mothered, who fought, who conquered, and who will slay and be the rightful owner of the crown. We are all waiting and the entire world is watching. Who will be Miss Asia Pacific International 2024? Let's find out in the final question and answer portion. Awaited and most nerve-wracking part of the competition, the final Q&A round. For this, our candidates will be asked the same question, and each of them will have exactly 30 seconds to answer. While waiting, the rest of the candidates will be wearing noise-canceling headsets to ensure that they don't hear the responses of any of the other candidates. And first to answer will be Belgium. To the rest of the ladies, you may now wear your headset. All right. In just a moment, we will begin. Once the ladies have their headsets firmly fitted to make sure that they cannot hear the question at all. All right, ladies, can you hear me? All right, I guess they can't. And now we begin the final Q&A portion of the Miss Asia Pacific International 2024, starting with Belgium. All right, Belgium, here is your question. Can you illustrate how embracing diversity can positively impact society? I believe that embracing diversity is what we all should do if we want to have a better world where everyone feels included. We should create safe spaces where people who aren't feeling beautiful in their body feel beautiful, beautiful because we as queens should represent that beauty comes from within and that everyone can shine on this stage or shine in their life no matter how they look, what culture, because everyone is beautiful and that is my true and honest opinion. Thank you. Thank you very much for that, Belgium. Next up, we have Philippines. <laughs> Philippines, this is your question. Can you illustrate how embracing diversity can positively impact society? I grew up in a diverse culture of the Philippines and I also grew up in a diverse culture in California. And I could say that it is very important in society because throughout diversity, we are able to see our differences, but despite that, we are able to come together as one, as collective voices, and see the similarities we all have, and that is with love. I believe that it is also very important to look back in your roots, and wherever life takes me, I believe that what I keep in my heart is what takes me far, and that's being a Filipina. Thank you. Thank you very much, Philippines. Our next candidate is Germany.
Good evening, Germany. Good evening again. Okay, your question is, can you illustrate how embracing diversity can positively impact society? I believe in role models that showcase their weaknesses. Every time I see someone that embraces their weaknesses, I look up to them because I like people, I admire people that showcases their weaknesses because we do not know how much darkness people had to overcome and to radiant in so much light. For example, role models like with having skin issues, showing and showcasing their own skin. Thank you. Thank you very much, Germany. All right, only two more to go, and our next is USA. USA, this is your question. Can you illustrate how embracing diversity can positively impact society? Yes. Embracing diversity can positively impact society because we would get to know that we are all one. We are all equal, no matter where we come from, no matter what we look like, no matter what our uniqueness is. Embracing each other's differences is what's going to make us unite together because once we accept that we are all different, then we can accept that we are all one. Thank you. Thank you very much, USA. And rounding out our final Q&A is Mexico. Hi, Mexico. Hola, buenas noches. Bien. Okay. <laughs> All right, here is your question. Can you illustrate how embracing diversity can positively impact society? How I imagine embracing diversity is, is such a happier world once we have compassion for each other and we are able to accept one another, even with our differences, if that is our, our color or our social economics, whatever it is, once we can have appreciation for one another, we can come together and accomplish so many things together and create so much more a beautiful world and a greater society. Thank you. Muchas gracias, Mexico. What an incredible display of intellect and poise from our top five finalists. Each answer not only showcased their unique perspectives, but also highlighted the depth of their character. They've truly captivated us tonight. Absolutely, Joe. You know, these ladies have proven that being a beauty queen, it's, it's about more than just the looks. It's about having a voice, having the ability to inspire. They've really risen to the challenge with grace and, might I say, confidence. Now, we are done with the Q&A, and now it is up to the judges to deliberate. Now, as we wait for the scores to be tabulated, let's take a look at our final top five finalists. Ladies and gentlemen, we present to you the elegance and beauty of our top five finalists as they prepare to dazzle us that one last time on stage.
The start of a new reign draws closer. But before we crown our next Miss Asia Pacific International, let's take a moment to honor our reigning queens. They have worn their crowns with grace, embodying beauty, strength, and leadership, and have left a lasting legacy way beyond the stage. As we prepare to welcome the next title holder, join us in celebrating their final walk and cherishing the incredible impact that they have made during their time as queens. Miss Asia Pacific International 2019, second runner-up, Jessica Victoria Chunkino. Miss Asia Pacific International 2019, first runner-up, Ewana Constanza. Let us now call in the representatives of our official auditors, Reyes Takandong and Company, to give us the highly anticipated results. Thank you. We begin with our Miss Asia Pacific International 2024 fourth runner up. Presenting the award, we have Attorney Edward Castaneda, Rafael Gonzalez, and Christine Caballero Aplal. And the Miss Asia Pacific International 2024 fourth runner up is. Germany! Miss Asia Pacific International 2019, Continental Queen Europe. The Miss Asia Pacific International 2024 third runner up is.
All right, congratulations, Philippines. And now we have Miss Asia Pacific International 2024, second runner up. Presenting the award, we have Raymond Gabriel, Jefferson Tan, and Jessica Victoria Chunkino, Miss Asia Pacific International 2019, second runner up. And Miss Asia Pacific International 2024, second runner up is. Belgium! The moment we've all been waiting for has finally arrived. After an incredible journey filled with grace, intelligence, and determination, we are down to our final two candidates. This is it. That's right, Joey. Now, each of these amazing women has shown us what it truly means to be a queen. And now, they stand on the cusp of greatness. Who will take home the coveted title of Miss Asia Pacific International 2024? We will be announcing the first Miss Asia Pacific International 2014, which automatically means that the remaining candidate is the first runner up. So if for any reason that the reigning Miss Asia Pacific International 2024 cannot fulfill her duties, the first runner up shall take over. That's right. And ladies and gentlemen, this, this is it. In a few seconds, we will now have the new Miss Asia Pacific International. Who will it be? Who? I can't hear you. Thank you. And Miss Asia Pacific International 2024 is Congratulations to our first runner-up, Mexico! Presenting the award for the first runner-up are His Excellency, Han Pu, Jacqueline Tan Sings, Ioana Constanza, Miss Asia Pacific International 2019 first runner-up, and handing over the crown to our Miss Asia Pacific International 2024 is 2019 Queen Cheyenne Hausman together with Joseph T. Tan and attorney Eva Patalingog Lim. Congratulations once again to USA! Now it is time to take your first walk as our Miss Asia Pacific International 2024.
Taking over the crowd to our Miss Asia Pacific International 2024 is 2019 Queen Cheyenne Houseman, together with Joseph T. Tan and Attorney Ava Patalingog Lim. Take your very first walk as Miss Asia Pacific International 